This Health Ranger Report Pandemic Podcast is brought to you by naturalnews.com for uncensored reporting and healthrangerstore.com for lab-tested preparedness supplies such as storable food, full face medical masks, biostructured silver first aid gel, and iodine only while supplies last. March 1st, pandemic.news update. Today, it's not only obvious that this is going to go global, it's going to impact every city across the world, even in the United States. This will not be contained, cannot be contained. Even the UK today announced that entire cities would have to be quarantined. That's, that's this morning's news, just in case you're, you know, if, if you haven't seen that headline yet. But the bigger realization now, I mean, I, I knew this was going to go global three weeks ago. You heard my podcast. I was already telling people this cannot be contained. I guess it takes many, many weeks or months for sort of the rest of, of, of the world to wake up to the reality that many of us have known for a long time. But the bigger picture is that humanity is too stupid to survive this. And what I mean by that is that critical mistakes are being made by governments, including the U.S. government, and that the handling of this is so insanely stupid, and I'll give you specific examples here, that it's like a scene out of idiocracy. It's so bad, the, the negligence, the lying, and the cover-ups, even now with Trump administration officials just lying to the public, even actively telling people, do not buy masks, do not get prepared, do not buy food. <laughs> Can you believe it? where every country in the world except the United States is telling people, yeah, it'd be a good idea to have a mask and get prepared and, you know, uh, get ready for this thing. But in the U.S., you're actually condemned for getting prepared. But we have so many bad decisions being made. For example, as we saw reported in the Wall Street Journal just, what was it, two days, three days ago, a whistleblower inside the team that responded to the Travis Air Force Base quarantine of, of returning Diamond Princess passengers. So what happened was the federal government allowed people to interact with infected patients at Travis Air Force Base when, when the federal workers themselves did not have PPE, personal protection equipment, and they had no training until after the event. So they had training five days later after they interacted with the patients. Well, obviously, Unless you're a time traveler, you should have training before you interact with patients. But no, that's not happening. And then, even more stupidly, those individuals who interact with patients without PPE, they were allowed to fly commercial air flights back home across the USA. Right. So the federal government, what, what the federal government actually did, and I don't know if this was the Air Force or Homeland Security or who exactly did it, but it's a bunch of morons. They allowed workers to come in and get infected by being openly exposed to infected patients in the Travis Air Force Base quarantine, and then to board airplanes, commercial flights, and fly all across America infecting other people on those same airplanes. That, if you can't have a government smart enough to stop that kind of behavior, then there is no chance that you will ever contain this virus. No chance. And when you have a State Department employee in Japan, and this happened as well, who said, yeah, we're going to evacuate the Diamond Princess infected passengers, and we're going to put the non-infected passengers on the same airplane as the infected passengers, and we're going to separate them with basically some, like a tarp and some duct tape. Yeah, these, <laughs> these officials, how do you even find the words to describe the level of idiocy and just runaway suicidal stupidity that these people are exercising? I mean, that person should be uh, I don't know, fired and shamed? Who, who, who made this decision? We actually know the person who did. We know the guy's name. We did a story on him. He's an idiot. But this is happening again and again and again. And because of that one flight, there are dozens of Americans who got infected during the evacuation flight. They were put in Travis Air Force Base. And now the outbreaks happening in California are happening in and around, oh, guess where? Travis Air Force Base. Whoa. What an amazing coincidence. You mean that when, when there, there's no training and there's no protection equipment and people are just allowed to spread the virus everywhere? You mean to tell me the virus spreads? Say it ain't so. But 
that's actually what's happening. So you see, we, as a, as a human race, we have lost the capability because humanity has become so dumbed down and so run by corrupt, incompetent bureaucrats to the point where America's response to this virus is now practically indistinguishable from China's response. It's the same lies, the same cover-ups, denying that this is a problem, claiming that you can catch all the cases with airport screening measures. This is the new Trump administration thing. Oh, we're going to screen people as they go through the airports. Well, uh, President Trump, this does not show symptoms in most people until many days into the infection, even after they've started to spread it. So sure, you can take the temperature of people in the airports. You're going to miss maybe three out of four or four out of five people who are infected because the screening is highly ineffective. And so to say, oh, we're screening all the high risk people, but yet you're not testing them. So in America for four weeks, nearly the CDC had withheld testing capability in America. All across the country, there were basically zero tests being done. And then I saw that this is being touted by the Trump administration now that America is, is the most prepared nation in the world, has the best preparedness for a pandemic. How can we have the best preparedness when we weren't prepared to test anybody for the infection? So you have, I mean, Thailand is testing more people than America. Probably North Korea is testing more people than America. I actually coined the phrase, don't test, don't tell, to describe what was happening. Don't test, don't tell. And it's insane. It's an insane policy. And you can't claim to be prepared if you don't have testing kits. And nobody was tested across America for weeks by 47 out of 50 states. That's not preparedness. That's lunacy. But these decisions continue to be made every day not just in America, but in places like, you know, France and Italy and the UK and Germany and Iran, which is involved in a massive cover-up. Iran's cases have just exploded over 1,000. It's, it's as if humanity has lost the ability to tell any truth about a pandemic or to face any reality because too many people are triggered by it. And so every government in the world now is controlling the narrative, but not controlling the virus. They're more interested in shaping your emotions than stopping infections. And this is the moment at which we've arrived in human history where humanity is too stupid to survive a pandemic because this virus is unforgiving. This virus would be hard to contain if you had a perfect record of isolation and quarantines. And if you told the truth about everybody taking antiviral drugs, and if you told the truth about what needs to happen, to stop this thing. If you told the truth and you made zero mistakes, you might possibly be able to contain it. But if your government is lying and you're covering it up and you're telling people do not get prepared, then you've got no chance, Jack, no chance. And right now humanity has zero chance of containing this. And that's due to the, the actions of China and, and Trump officials and everybody else. Zero chance to stop this right now. It's gonna go global. It's gonna kill millions unless something changes dramatically, radically right now. So, so stay informed. Read my website, pandemic.news and naturalnews.com. This is Mike Adams, The Health Ranger. When it comes to prepping, you not only need good products that can help keep you alive, awake, aware, and nourished during difficult times, you also need products you can trust. At The Health Ranger store, we do extensive laboratory testing using an in-house lab that's ISO accredited. It's inspected, it's audited. It's a two-year process to even get that accreditation. We use multiple mass spec instruments, state-of-the-art science. I'm a published science author as well and a patent holder on several technologies, some of which we use variations of in our lab. The purpose of this lab is to help you make sure you get clean foods, superfoods, storable foods for emergency preparedness and survival use. We have a certified organic lab-tested, what's called Ranger Bucket collection of storable foods with some survival gear in the buckets to help you even boil water and cook those foods and so on. It's a, a fantastic product. We can barely keep it in stock even during normal times. In a crisis, we'll be wiped out of this product because it actually takes us a lot of time to make those products. But if they're in stock, you can get them now at healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike. In fact, go to that URL, healthrangerstore.com slash prep with Mike, and you'll see some of our 
survival and preparedness supplies, including iodine, colloidal silver products and gel first aid products, storable foods, superfoods, medicinal herbs for first aid, and much more. We have a lot of products for you to help you be self-reliant, to be safe, to survive difficult circumstances, natural disasters, and all kinds of things. If you want to get prepared, do it with us at the Health Ranger store so that you know you're getting safe, clean, laboratory-verified preparedness foods, supplements, and other related products. Again, the URL is healthrangerstore.com forward slash prep with Mike. All one word, no spaces. Prep with Mike. I'm Mike Adams. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.